Alright, how the hell am I gonna get back up there from here? I could try... making my way up from this side. How much do I have? Yeah, I think I used all my ro- I used all of my runes. Ooh. I will just stand on the light! Oh God! That could've been bad, that could've been bad, that could've been bad. As long as I don't run into like a hundred witches in every room, we should be good here. Also, let me mark this rune down. Jeez. Is she alive? Nope. What the fuck? Is she a guard? I don't even know. This isn't gonna be a pleasant place. I mean, the fact that we encountered witches here just completely confirms that anyways. And apparently there's just gonna be blood fly infestations, a bunch of dead people, gosh. Unfinished letter to Abigail. Abigail, cherished cousin, can you get some of his hair in a recent handkerchief? If so, handle them as little as possible and send them back to me in wrapped wax paper. Leave the rest to me and he'll have bad luck the rest of his days. No one should be forced to marry an old oyster like him. Just thinking on his horrid purple lips makes me cringe. You poor little dove. How clever of Uncle Max to finally see the match was no good. Also, I'll send you some ointment for your complexion, Alicia. Do these witches actually have the ability to treat acne? Cause, uh, that's not so bad. Just all the other stuff is bad, like them killing people. Hey. Alright, where is the next item? Here I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded on all sides. I gotta learn the layout of this place. I wasn't about to try throwing myself up the roof to there. Oh, there's still a bunch more? Jeez. What in the fuck? Oh, shit. Um... Why? Oh, God. Just kill him! Kill him all! Okay, there's a person pinned in the wall. I thought they were gonna be like held up by magic or something. No, they're just being held up by blood fly random, like cocoon shit. Ugh. Okay. Pour the gin over the sugar and stir. Um, we're gonna still trying to teach people how to take care of shit. I don't even know what that's making. Like, you guys just like an alcoholic beverage. Whoa. Whoa. What the fuck? This better be an amazing bone charm. Swift Stalker. Movement is slightly faster with weapon sheathed. Okay. That's cool. That is something I sometimes do. I'm just like, whoop. I wonder if you can use bone charms even when you don't have powers. And imagine 
you probably could, just because they're kind of... They're implied to just be like char- like lucky charms. Well, not this cereal, but just... Things that will affect you even if you aren't imbued with powers from the void. Because normal civilians use them sometimes. So, I'd hope that you could do that. Maybe. But at the same time, I understand if they're like, no! No powers means nothing at all. You don't get any runes, you don't get any bone charms. No. They nailed a little bit of the sound design with the fucking sound of their wings, Jesus. Yep, nope, not going in there just yet. Good thing these chicks don't think to try and teleport out of my clutches. <laughs> I've the same stories about Paolo the Howler. What you've heard about Paolo is not the same. He's a street orphan, full of tricks. But I have faith Delilah could do such a thing. Coming back? It doesn't seem possible. That's all. My dear Orlando. Some people see doors, where you and I only see walls. Coming back from what? The dead? Or from being trapped? Ooh. I guess it won't matter in time. How many of these witches are there? There's one right there. I can feel my power, girl. I can hear her voice. I can feel her spirit touching mine. There's so many witches just chilling around. All right. She just do? What are those? Okay. You know what? We actually haven't fought the witches in a head-to-head -head fight yet. So I am curious. Whoa, Jesus. What they're capable of, you know? They shoot fucking fireballs out of their hands, man. That's not something I can do. What the fuck? Or I guess they're more like hardened needles. I guess this is the oraculum. Looks like something that might connect to the other worlds. All right, that is not a good idea to try and like put them all to sleep. A lot of them are hanging around on envir or like on chandeliers and shit, so they're just gonna fall to their death, which is frustrating. Also, my slow time is not powerful enough yet. Uh, the fact that. A lot of bad shit can happen, and they can all react to it while sl uh, slow time is still going on. Uh, no, I need I need to upgrade it. That's my next thing. I'm going straight for this. Six runes. Stop time. Ooh, there's something above here. There always is, isn't there? Okay. I don't know how I'm gonna deal with these guys or gals. They're in really odd positions for me. Okay, that wasn't so bad. That's more like lucky placement, if anything.
Have a nap, ladies. Lay around a little bit. I've got to deal with everybody else. Okay. If I drop down, that chick will see me. So I need to be able to get behind her. Let her reach into the mind, into the heart. Wouldn't you be afraid she'd influence your dreams? Yeah. What she's going to do to the sisters of the Abbey? That's part of the thrill, sister. <laughs> That's part of the thrill, sister. I want to have someone maybe possibly influence me. Ooh. Oh. Hey, there's the prototype right across the way. Fantastic. Where are you going, lady? Ah, not too far. Jindosh was insane. How does this even work? All right. That's a lot of witches. Oh, shit. What? 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 God! You gotta be kidding me. She saw me through the fucking railing. <laughs> Golly. Okay. That's my own fault. I should have blinked away. Jindosh was insane. Oh, fuck you. How does this even work? Are you kidding me? I can feel her spirit touching mine. You know, the only thing you're going to feel is gravity. Hey, how you doing? You want to die. I mean, hey, they might have seen me, but they're knocked out. <laughs> That's so fucking stupid. The last time she walked to the end of the bookcase and chilled out and I grabbed her and things were perfect. Things were fine. Now she wants to chill out on the railing. Is she going to do it again? Of course she is. Oh, this inconsistent AI. I mean, that's good. Yay. Unpredictability. But there's uh, sometimes a point where I need them to obey the fucking timeline. The world can end because of these chicks. You're not getting away this time, lady. <laughs> I'm gonna be careful. My movements... Stealthy. Right. I'm gonna see if anyone notices the elevator being called. do we get from this? Hardiness. That that sounds like it just increases my health. Yeah, there you go. Maximum health is increased. That is useless to me. That is useless to me. Uh, I mean, well, not entirely, because obviously I could use that for like fall damage and things like that, or say I fall into a trap and get shot by something. 
but my general goal is to just not take damage. But I'll equip it for now, because I don't really have a lot of whalebone anyway. So sacrificing it would be preemptive. Anything else I can get rid of that I don't really care for? Uh, Gutter Feast. I haven't seen a white rat yet, so we'll do Special Fortune. The Foreign Curse, written and researched by Tabitha Alba. The Great Rat, rat Plague, the Spreading Death, the Foreign Curse. These are names we give to the disease that bloomed briefly, taking tens of thousands of lives as it spread across crystal from home to home, town to town, preferring neither rich nor poor. The capital city of Dunwall suffered the most, settled so thickly by both people and rats. Many feared the plague would spread to Circanos, but even beyond the naval blockade effect at the time, several factors kept the sickness from reaching our shores. First, in Circanos, the population of disease-carrying rats was kept in check by blood flies. Natural enemies, rats are known to feed on blood fly larvae, and fully mature blood flies lay their eggs in rats. Second, it is simply true that Circanos are healthier than most. With the best foods, morning constitutionals, and a strong work ethic, we have some immunity to diseases that afflict less vibrant folks. Lastly, mining dust was found in trace amounts in Sarkanos, even during the time of Dunwall's Great Crisis, and that dust played a critical role. It's true that the plague was spread by rats, but some natural philosophers now believe that it was also carried on wind currents. As such, we can be thankful that in addition to bringing us wealth from silver, the mines also protected us from the greatest plague in living memory. Oh, that's, that's a stretch, but okay. I'm so glad that this deadly plague didn't reach us, and it's because of all the silver dust that kills all of our friends and family. How lovely. Ah, we got a couple other things for us to check out up here. Other people, though. He's a gibbering idiot now. I don't know, Delilah. Forgive me. No, my dear. It's a loss. But I doubt he had anything more to give us. So Ouch. Love was taken away as well. Who would want that ancient fool? Never mind. How goes the communion? I am hungry to whisper into the ears of the oracular sisters. Oh, my influence grows. Last night, I walked through a dream with one of them, and we drank from a fountain in the town where she was born. Vice Overseer Burns' suspicions were right. The business with Jindash won't affect things. No. He continued to tinker with the lenses, thicker, thinner, more opaque. It was tiresome to watch. I still have the old lenses and cast-off parts piled in my workshop, but Jindash finished some time ago. The rest is up to me, learning to use the machine. A tricky thing, touching the void through such a device. Blood and biscuits. I look forward to using it myself once you're ready. Do you visit soon? Perhaps. Dunwall Tower is mostly in hand. The High Overseer won't be a problem anymore. And there's the matter of my own project. I grow more excited with each brushstroke. When I come to Karnaka, we'll drink an ocean of good wine and stay tight as a boiled owl. I look forward. For now, I need your eyes on the Duke. At least until we have the sisters under control. There's no one else I trust. I'll reach out to you again on the morrow. Farewell. Goodbye. Go away, statue, Delilah. Uh, that thing might be able to spot me. I don't like that. Hmm. It seems rather rude to die here, whoever you were. A corpse? Curator Ashwood. What in the world? Corpse? What? What are you not responding to? No one's dead, right? Yeah. Fuck you. The only people who are dead are the people you killed. They're all surprised. What? A corpse? Lucky Jam! Let me guess. 
It jams the weapons of the enemies. Yep. Now that's something I'm willing to just immediately destroy. Sacrifice Bone Charm. Lucky jam. Now I also... I want to make more runes, but honestly I might also just... Try and grab some of the other stuff. Uh, let's see. Sometimes drinking a elixir. No, that's not the one I'm looking for. Oh, wow. You can sacrifice... Well, obviously you can sacrifice your crafted things and just get them back. Like, oh yeah, I need five back, please? Uh... Eh, we're good. I don't really need ridiculous levels of uh, mana regeneration yet. Black Bone Charm Notes. Fifth, I've sent out to craft a new Bone Charm, and I hope to have it blacken, in keeping with those of greater power. It will complement the one I've carried since finding it within a mausoleum in Alba. Though it's rare to meet others touched by the void, summoners beware, for as long as I carry that Bone Charm, their rats and vermin will turn against them. And the new charm, if it works, will shield me against assassins. Eleventh, I am still working on my protective charm. I've taken the Tivian Greybone recipe and altered it, using much more burdock root. The instructions were vague, and safeguards it offers are weak. Eighteenth, neither chamomile nor nasturiums added to the mix gave me the right effect, though they perfume the air quite nicely. I feel well protected from unpleasant smells, but not much else. Twenty-third, I finally got it! Hellebore, of course, fermented and reduced over a low flame. It's rare to achieve this effect where the bone charm turns darkest black. As I wanted, I'm warded against the first bullet or bolt from an assassin's weapons. The initial shot that would fell me will instead change to blood flies in an instant. That's neat, actually. Although I didn't mention that, I kinda already sacrificed it. Anyways, I don't expect to get shot at much anyways. What the fuck is that? Uh huh. Yeah, I'm a fan. Oh shit. They've got dark vine things, man. That's bad. dogs guarding it. Ooh, a sleep dart. Perfect. I'm gonna need that when I replace things. Can I shoot these? Let's find out. <laughs> okay. Uh, I can't burn him because I don't have any incendiaries left. Right. How does it feel to be attacked by them? Oh, it's gone. I guess if you do enough damage, they fuck off. Ow. Did that detect me? It did. Okay, we're gonna have to be careful around these things. They can detect us, but they don't count as kills, which is good. Oh, I wish eating fancy food gave us mana back. That'd be perfect. We can get ourselves a little mana from eating some grapes. 
And being incredibly fancy, dark brown giving me back my stamina makes more sense than it giving me back my health. Fancy little place with a creepy fucking dark tentacle. Where does this go? Ah! I would probably die if I tried to drop down on that. In the water, I mean. But I could shoot that out. I'm not trying to go through the front door though. Ooh, there's a side set of windows. And where does this go? There's a giant scary owl thing. What the fuck? It's not a game to them. Oh, fine. I was just bored. Poor <sighs> Delilah sat on the throne. It was always some barrister to torment, or some dog crew to lure into an abandoned warehouse. Those were good times. <laughs> I miss when we didn't have control of the government. Ooh, there's a fucking other tentacle thing in there. I wouldn't have noticed <laughs> if I dropped down immediately. Well, I got what I wanted. More types of, uh, animal life creature stuff. Although a plant isn't an animal. Neat. You have to make a lot of fucking noise to get in here, but no one heard it, so they were obviously far away. Right, but there's nothing of value? In the room itself. Okay. <laughs> they could have hurt. I wonder how many more witches are in here. I locked out like five. Now come and let me bathe in the warm waters of your adoration. Of Empress, the source of our strength and freedom. You're a fool to ignore my warning, Amelia. Who is this addressing me by a false name? Cast her out of the city into the wilds. Or better yet, put her on a ship bound for Pandicia. <laughs> Brianna was with Delilah when you were sucking on your mother's tit. This is not a game to them. Oh, fine. I was just bored. before Delilah sat on the throne. There was always some there. Okay, so now we're actually the, we're catching the real conversation. Let's see what happens if I shoot a crossbow bolt in the middle of them. <laughs> okay, so they will all run over there. That's what I wanted to do and find out. Where am I heading down to? I don't think I can land safely on those ledges unless I play life in a risky way. Oh god. Okay. Oh my god, it's a giant turtle. Okay. Here's what I would like to do. I would like to attract their attention, blind them, then put a stun mine down in between them all. That is the general plan that works. I hope you girls are prepared. Okay. Wait, they see me already? Well, that's awkward. That's not supposed to happen. You're supposed to just go, Oh, 
Oh god, I'm blind! I can't see anything at all! And then get knocked out. I need more buttons on my keyboard. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna sign crossbow to one because I haven't been using stinging bolts that often anyways. So that's something I prefer. Uh, the heart, I, I liked having it on four, but I'd rather have some other things available there. What have I been using? Here we go, okay. So now I can just use my numbers to do everything. So crossbow bolts. <laughs> Just making sure none of them died. Fantastic. Now, would this be an okay place to put them? Seems like it. All right, ladies. I enjoy having the ability to bend time now. I mean, I'm sure I could do all of that in like a really fast way if I just kept on trying over and over again in real time. But that's just fun. And once I get the ability to completely stop time, that'll be even better. Because then there would be no chance for them to like do anything to me. Whoops. <laughs> I pressed F to drop her like lightly and Corvo just tossed her into a wall. There you go. Okay. I don't know how many more witches there are. There are probably at least five. Oh, yeah, I can get my crossbow back, too. This is a big place. I haven't really looked around in it. There's, like, multiple floors, and we've mostly only looked at one. Do I get my crossbow bolt back? No, not from those guys. Of course not. That would be too nice. No, that's not deep at all, but I guess I could have tried swimming into the grate. They have a lot of those kinds of areas. I don't know how many, like, they had in comparison to others, but that's cool. Alright, where is... The bone shop. Nice. I didn't attract the fucking the dog attention. Okay. 